Whoa. $20 to fill it up in Crystal Beach, cash only. I'm sure it's probably pretty tough to get the propane out here. There's not a lot of options at Crystal Beach to get your propane refilled. Something seems wonky about this. I don't know if that can, maybe that can's supposed to be over here. Right. Open range is interesting in the fact that they make these big fifth wheels, but they don't ever put the 30 pound cans in them, only the 20 pound. And the way ours is set up, you put two 20 pounds on this side and a spare 20 pound on the other side, but that spare is not hooked up. It's literally just a spare. I've actually gotten rid of the spare. We have another spare 40 pound that's standing up in our front storage area that's strapped in. That's my spare. So now I carry five gallons of diesel where I used to have a spare 20 pound propane can. I'm just gonna, what's it called? Musical chairs? I'm playing musical chairs with propane tanks. For some odd reason, that bar that goes across the top, it doesn't feel right the way that I had it sitting. So let me rearrange these and see if that makes a difference. All right, I needed the lifting exercise anyway. I'm still a little sore from all the crawling around yesterday, repacking those bearings. When you primarily work sitting down all the time, it can be tough to all of a sudden transition into a physical role. Feels like the one sitting in the back is too close. It doesn't even line up with the grooves at all. There we go. Like if I bend the bar a little bit this way, it'll work. Wing net. Let's call it a helicopter net. It's a helicopter. The guy at the propane place. It's the same place as these old school water slides. I think they call it Fun Town. Nice guy. He was literally helping out the, the woman in front of us. She had two 30 pound cans and he knew she couldn't lift them. So he actually was putting them back in her vehicle for her. I like good customer service like that. I would say fully stocked up, but I know that that one's not full. We don't use propane for a whole lot. The stovetop, the blackstone, and if I forgot to turn on the hot water heater, then for that. We're usually not boondocking, so I will occasionally use it to fill up or to heat the, the water heater if I need to heat it a little faster. But using propane all the time can be costly, especially if you're not paying for electricity. I want to give an update on the video about uh, jacking up the RV to change your tires. I stated that the Anderson level blocks worked great for this. Well, I put it too far to the test and I made a mistake. And I ruined some things, starting with these. I don't know if you can see right off the bat how these got ruined. This one's probably the worst. You see that right in there? How it got kind of bent up. What I had done, I, I had some extra big pieces of wood that the levels were sitting on. And so before I could jack it up, it was kind of, the wood was in the way. So I thought, well, I'll just level the playing field and put these around it, and then I'll put the Anderson levels down on top of it. That was a mistake. Those Anderson levels need to be on a flat surface. So because there was a gap here, 
it allowed for it to lose its integrity. The Anderson level buckets, we call them, they're, those two, they're ruined as well. They're, it's now become uh, the permanent Starlink holder in the pass-through storage. I don't know if I could even separate them. It was, I was kind of scared because I had the RV raised up, had all this weight on it, and I was kind of scared that the Andersons were going to actually snap, break, and potentially shoot plastic at me. Thankfully, that didn't happen. It somewhat returned to a normal shape. Be careful with that. The other factor, too, was that the jack was not centered. So if you look at these red Anderson buckets, when they go underneath of the leveling jacks, the pole that comes down, the shaft, goes right to the center and then centrally distributes the weight. The way that I did this yesterday, it was not centered. Between not being completely flat and not being centered, I destroyed two of the buckets. They're just sitting in there right now with the Starlink Wi-Fi sitting on top of them. That's usually, the Starlink has to sit in there because I don't want to drill holes to pass the Starlink up into the RV. So it just sits through the pass-through storage and it works fine. Right, I wanted to update everybody on that. Please be careful. I used it again. I got two other ones out and used them again. But this time, with the next level that I went to, I decided I was going to retract all bring those up and move the wood out of the way so that the Anderson could now this time sit flat on the ground and then I made sure that my jack was centered and absolutely zero problems. Works great, that's what it's designed for. So just make sure your jack is centered that it's flat on the ground and then it will be fine. If you're out on the side of the road, hopefully that could work for you. If you've got some uneven, maybe you're like off just the shoulder or something to that effect and there's like a little bit of a curve, be careful of that. Be careful of that. Don't put that Anderson level where it's gonna have any kind of an air gap underneath of it because then what's gonna happen is it's gonna bend it and potentially break it. Good talk. Look at that doggo, trying to take a nap. Having a dog day afternoon. So cute. We haven't had to use this thing since January of 2021. No, 2022. 22s. Well, while we were here at Crystal Beach, we had a storm come through that knocked out power for some 4,000 people. We were able to let it ride for a few hours, but when the fridge started beeping that it was gonna die, I went ahead and took it out, got it hooked up, powered up, ran for 20 minutes, and then the power came back on. Isn't it funny how that works? It may have contributed to my back hurting needing to go to the chiropractor. He asked me to wait a few days before I did this. So I waited like a week after the adjustment. The tough part now is getting it past the Anderson level. Uh, the tough part, not the Anderson level, the Anderson hitch. Having to step all crazy like around that thing. It is muggy. When I was 20 and even into my 30s, I was very self-conscious about my sweating. I didn't like it, and I still don't like it, especially when it's burning in my eyes. But I was just a lot more self-conscious about it. Now that I'm older, I just accept it. It's just like, I'm either gonna be sweaty or I'm not gonna be sweaty. So now, it's, if it's gonna be a sweaty day, I'm just all in for a sweaty day. My mindset goes to uh, get her done. Just get her done. I'm gonna sweat. No stopping it. Bunch of Harley's cruising through town. Tomorrow is technically our packing day because the next day is our travel day. However, we got one last visit to the doctor for Tanya that we have to go to tomorrow. So now it becomes a, uh, well, what can we do today? So we have less to do tomorrow when we get back. Knowing the whole ferry, that could be unpredictable. I think I've got just under 300 miles to go on, on Friday. That's a pretty long drive day. If you're into RVs, you know that that could be a bit much. I really don't want to have to be dealing with hoses the morning of. 
the plan is is to flush out the black tanks tomorrow put those hoses away put the rest of the hoses away even just dealing with the regular water hoses wouldn't be the worst thing on the day of i just i like to have anything and everything that i can have done the day before the travel day just makes the travel day so much easier kira is over at kfc kids for christ at crystal beach first baptist church and i am going to go back and pick her up now and then we will keep on resuming, doing what we gotta do to get ready to get out of here. Got a, a lot of stuff coming up. Travel days are gonna start being longer, more frequent. We got a long ways to go. We're gonna try to push our way all the way up to Maine before Memorial Day. So, got a lot of ground to cover. A lot's gonna happen, a lot going on. So thanks for watching. Wanna remind you, life happens. Even lifting heavy objects, don't let it stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.